Hello fellows and welcome back to today's video. Um, we're back in the Fallout 4 again today and um, I'm going to check on Virgil to see if the serum worked and then we're going to go from there. Okay, here we go. Protect and serve. Virgil. Welcome back. It needs some refinement, but uh, I think we can consider my serum a qualified success. This is incredible. It is a significant first step, but it still only works on one strain of FEV. It will take years, perhaps decades, to generalize my formula. Still, you have my gratitude. You are welcome to make use of my lab, or help yourself to any of this junk if you want it. In the meantime, I have a lot of experiments to run. Excuse me. Virgil? Sorry, I'm rather busy right now. He rather stay in the glowing sea. I wonder why it doesn't let me send him to like one of my settlements. I don't know. Interesting. He's listening to the classical radio, and that's the radio that the um, institute uses. Yikes! We're not fighting that dog meat. Um, let's see. I guess we'll do, we'll start Liberty Reprimed and see, why is my cursor moving so slow? Okay, go to the airport. I bet you're eager to get your hands dirty on our new project. How much has Maxon told you about it? Whatever it is, I'm sure it'll help us crush the Institute. It will, but we've got a lot of work ahead of us first. Come on, it's this way. Unless you're blind as a bat, I'm sure you've noticed that we've been building a gantry on the tarmac. Maxon and Kells have been looking for something that'll tip the balance when we go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Institute. Now, the Pridwin might be a big beast, but she's not built for fighting. That's where our new project comes in. This storage bay full of parts is what left of Liberty Prime. The Brotherhood used it in the Capital Wasteland as a weapon against the Enclave. It's the most advanced robot the Brotherhood has ever had at its disposal. Unfortunately, Liberty Prime was destroyed in the line of duty. I've spent the better part of the last few years piecing him back together. And if you think that was easy, try rebuilding a Protectron while you're blindfolded. In order to get Liberty Prime fully operational, we're going to need your help. No problem. I'm sure this only looks worse than it actually is. Huh. I wish I had your confidence. Because this is not going to be easy. Now, the good news is that we've got most of Prime's parts fully assembled. The bad news is that it's going to take more than a few rivets and some spot welding to get them working again. The first problem is his CPU. It's fragile, and every time we try to feed power to it, it blows itself out. Hmm. There's got to be a way to solve that. I do all the maintenance on the Pridwin, so you'd think it'd be a snap. As much as I hate to admit it, Prime's power systems are out of my league. Luckily, you were able to convince Dr. Madison Lee to return to the Brotherhood. She was on the original build team for Liberty Prime a little over a decade ago. I've already spoken to her, but she's reluctant to work on Prime for some reason. If you could get her down here to lend a hand with his power system, we can get the big guy moving. Okay, go talk to Dr. Lee. 
I guess she's up in the prig web. Attention. Tomorrow's tactical briefing has been postponed. A new time and date will be forthcoming. Liberating the Commonwealth is a huge responsibility. If you're here to talk me into working on Liberty Prime, you can forget it. You promised you'd help us. You're right, I did. But you neglected to mention that I'd be asked to work on Liberty Prime. I've been down this road with the Brotherhood before. Why would I make the same mistake twice? Because we care what happens to the Commonwealth. You know, if anyone else wearing a Brotherhood of Steel uniform said something like that, I'd laugh in their face. But coming from you, it sounds like you actually mean it. Tell Proctor Ingram to get her scribes ready. Okay, that it's was going easy. to take a hell of a lot of work to get Liberty Prime back online, but we'll get it done. Thank you, Dr. Lee. I have to go all the way back down. I'm proud to be serving under Elder Maxon. I had enough alliance in his foolish way. Now they got him up there. Exciting. Proctor. Well, things are off to a good start. Isn't that right, Doctor? I hope so. Prime suffered some significant damage to his memory core. I wish your people would have been a bit more careful, Proctor. The good news is that the damage isn't irreversible, and I should be able to get the power flowing into his CPU core without overloading. If your people stay out of my way, that is. Hmm, charming, isn't she? Yeah. Sorry about that, Ingram. Don't worry about it. We might be butting heads on a few issues, but I've dealt with worse. Besides, Dr. Lee's worth all the aggravation. We're working with one of Prime's original designers. I don't see it getting any better than that. In fact, since things are going so well, we're going to have you start building as electromagnetic actuators. Sure. Anything you need. That's what I love about you. You're ready to leap into action, and I bet you don't have the faintest idea what I'm talking about. <sighs> the actuators are what allows Liberty Prime's arms and legs to move. Prime's new limbs are way too heavy for the simple hydraulic pistons he had in the past. We're going to have to rip those out, construct a brand new system using electromagnets, and install them in its limbs. What we need you to do is build the actuators for us. Now that you know what the actuators are, you need to know how to make them. These are the plans and the materials list. Don't lose them. Now before you get that look on your face, you'll be happy to know that we have plenty of the raw materials on that list right here at the airport. The only thing we need you to head out and find is a high-powered magnet. According to Proctor Quinlan, the best place to find one is in any of the ruined hospitals around the Commonwealth. We've already sent out a few teams to find the rest of the high-powered magnets you'll need. They should be back by the time you return. Once you start building the actuators, we need one for each limb, so you'll need to make a total of four. Good luck. Okay. Um... Okay, I guess we'll travel to Balance and go from there. Okay, immediate chaos. Immediate.
I keep pressing the wrong button. Is that the shack that blows up? The chem lab? Seems like. You guys okay? How you doing? Moonshiner. Not looking too good there, pal. Thank you for the cats. Yikes. I keep pressing the wrong button. I prefer to sneak behind this. Because I don't want to deal with all of those super mutants. gonna walk right through here. I really want to walk in there. Do I do it? Okay. Probably. Question mark. Yeah. Ah. Where is it? A little tiny thing. Reminds me of like the Nuka World maze. Do you shoot it or it's just literally a question mark? OK. 
Okay, well, that's the direction, is it? Oh, no. Thank you, sneaking perk. That's so cool. Okay. Here we go. Now I'm getting really turned around. Question mark? That was it? Was that it? I guess so, because that's all connected. Okay, we're going up. Oh no, huge mistakes. Huge mistakes. I feel like I'm missing so much. <laughs> oh, that's barbed wire. else are they gonna have if that was the case there? Uh-oh. Okay, lots of traps. I'm a 
really glad I have the snaking perk. Close it. Close it. Okay. Okay, well, it looks like we found, like, their hideout. Ah, <gasps> heck yeah! I'm glad I came back! Permanently unlock a new custom paint job for your power armor. That's cool. Okay, I've never done this, so this is cool. Uh... I just... Left is the gray one, red is that one. I don't know which one I was supposed to choose. I guess I should have looked in there more. I didn't know that that was gonna remove the box. Like, it's like a mystery box from zombies. we'll go ahead and continue on into the hospital then. <gasps> can I go in this way? I can! Okay. Cool. So that wasn't totally for nothing. Nurse handy, uh oh. I 
which way to go. I don't know what the deal is with all the elevators. Wow, fashionable sunglasses. Okay, I'm not gonna take those yet. Oh, it just goes to the other one. Okay, that doesn't go anywhere. So we were in the right area. Can I look over here? Kind of, sort of. Um, I guess we're gonna have to take an elevator. But which one? Instantly. Okay. Nice. Quick save and I'm glad my this unit is not bound by the Hippocratic oath. What is he talking about? Okay. 
Okay, we're getting through here pretty good. What are all the skeletons? I guess this is maybe like the morgue. Ooh. supposed to get this part. There's got to be a magazine in here, right? Okay, so there's not one here. guys it's just you were gonna attack me so gotta do what I gotta do let's um, be walking around under us. Go down there? I don't understand. I'm so confused. Where is this part we need? No, this is a back at the beginning. up a random thing on accident. So is it just not here?
Is it gonna be in something special? It says I'm so far away that I don't know how to get closer. Here we go again. Going down. Still shows it here. Basement. Going up. Oh man, I have to help with this. Okay. I'm sorry, Starlight. It's just like I can't get that far in that direction. What am I missing? Better to sneak those guys. Have I been this way? I don't think so. Oh yeah, I have. Okay, I didn't check this elevator though. Dog meat, no. You take it area until order has been restored. Okay. There's still more. Too much now. Okay, let's see what we can drop. Okay, we're already carrying too much. So, Has evaded pursuit. Law enforcement authorities now have primary responsibility for apprehension. Okay, here we go. Going up. Second floor. It definitely took longer than I was expecting. Okay, 
So now we have to take this back to the airport. And build for the actuators. Okay. If dumb and ugly had a child, it'd be a super mutant. Proctor Ingram? That's all four actuators. Delivered and done. Nice work. Right on schedule. I've completed the restoration of Prime's basic functions, and he's ready to go. In fact, it's getting difficult to explain to the system why it can't move right now. Well... As soon as my scribes get those actuators in place, we'll have his arms and legs installed in no time. Which brings me to your next assignment. It won't be long before Prime can walk and talk, but he's missing one last important element. His nukes. Oh, Without man. them, his offensive systems aren't operating at peak capacity. Shouldn't be a problem. Just tell me where they are. I wish I could. Prime's bomb pack is fitted for Mark 28 nuclear bombs. The same type of bombs that were dropped from aircraft during the Great War. The Commonwealth was a major staging area for the military's air force, so we assumed we wouldn't have trouble finding them. But since we arrived, our scouting teams haven't located a single bomb. That's going to be a problem. Without a fully loaded nuke pack, Prime won't have the firepower to take on the Institute. She's right. Of course she's right. But before you give up hope, there's actually a silver lining here. Proctor Quinlan has located some records regarding a military installation, which was used as a nuclear weapons storage facility. We're fairly certain this included a stockpile of the Mark 28s. The catch is that the installation is located somewhere within the glowing sea. I'll head out there immediately. Good, because that's exactly what we're asking you to do. Scribe Halen's established a communications point on the frontier of the glowing sea. I suggest you head out there first, and establish a signal protocol with her so that the nukes can be airlifted out once you've located them. Hopefully, by the time you've returned, we'll be ready to wake Prime up, and you can say hello. Good luck, Knight. Okay, guys. Well, we're going to go ahead and stop that episode there. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed watching today's episode, please consider subscribing, and I will see you all next time. Thank you.